In today's video, I'm excited to introduce you to a new company, Grid Battery Metals, which looks like they have some exciting news and they are strategically located in Nevada and British Columbia. They provide exposure to the EV metal space. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in and find out more about the company. The first thing we're going to do is look at the stock price and you can find them under the ticker C-E-L-L -L in Canada or E-V-K-R-F in the U.S. As we look here to the U.S. listed stock, we note that it is up by about 5% over the last five days. But notice the share price. It's just under four cents. And this is important because we're getting a target here from Harbinger, Harbinger Research and they're saying the stock could go to 22 cents. That's a lot higher than where we are today at just under four that would imply hundreds of percent upside. So I had a look at the chart, and here we're looking at the uh, the Canadian listed uh, stock, CELL, -L, which is up on the day by about 10%, or half of one cent. And this is quite interesting because I'm noticing a pattern here where the last time we had a continued, prolonged sideways action, we went up by hundreds of percent. And that same thing could be happening here. So the question is, if it's happening, is there more evidence we can look at? Meaning, usually, uh, when we see a company worth about $9.5 million, which is what it's worth today, there's usually not a lot of value. So what I want to show you next is that there is a recent news release that went out. And here they're talking about, um, they have a spin uh, they have a, a spin out they're going to be doing serving the emerging EV industry. And the stock is going to be uh, giving that uh, shortly here. But what I what really caught my eye in this news release was this part right here cash balance of approximately 5 million Canadian dollars and over 4.8 million in marketable securities on the balance sheet. So if we look at the market cap here of, uh, here it says uh, 9.4 on uh, TradingView, over here on, uh, on Google, it says 10.36. So I'm not sure which one it is. It's off by about a million dollars, but with either one, this is like really simple. If it's worth about 9.5 million or about 10.5 ish, again, depending on which number is correct. Um, if we look here, well, that's pretty much the uh, the assets they have. They have 5 million in cash and they also have 4.8 million in marketable securities. Five plus 4.8 is 9.8. So that's good. It means that we're basically getting the company for free. They have cash and they also have those marketable securities. So what's also interesting is that they're fully funded for 2024 mineral exploration seasons, and they're doing a spinoff. So that's usually a good sign for the company. They've also been covered. Uh, reports Magazine features lithium uh, global business reports. Uh, sorry, Global Business Reports Magazine features lithium and nickel exploration company with stock dividend spinout serving the emerging market industry. So this is quite interesting. Um, I like the other article because it has a little bit more information that I find quite helpful. And then shortly, we're also going to go through and have a look at the uh, the landing page here to go through and look at the company's uh, potential uh, entry into the $276 billion EV market. So again, if we go here to the stock, I just want to point this out because this is really what I like to focus on. I like to focus on price action. So here's the ticker, C-E-L-L. -L. We note that it goes sideways for an extended period, and then it goes up. The saying is that we want to buy when there's blood in the street. Well, there's blood in the street and the stock is not really being valued because at a small market cap of $9.5 million, I think they could unlock some value here. All right, let's go through and read that article and uh, move the show forward. Thank you for tuning in so far. I appreciate your support. So they've engaged in exploration for high value battery metals needed for the multi-billion dollar uh, global EV market. Leadership with extensive experience in mineral exploration and development, raising capital and building successful businesses. That's what they mentioned here in their price target of 22 cents with a seasoned team at the helm. Okay, this seems pretty simple so far. Uh, fully funded for 2024. Uh, that's good. Uh, profile in the latest issue of Global Business Report magazine. That's also good. Upcoming stock dividend. We talked about that and it looks like their plans are to list that on the TSX Venture Exchange. They've completed a recent site visit to Clayton Valley Lithium Project in Nevada and provide shareholder with detailed updates. Soil sample is very encouraging, averaging grade of uh, 2010 uh, parts per million. As we talked about, their, their cash and securities position looks really strong. And they've recently appointed uh, Stephen McMillan, uh, PG, as qualified person for Nevada-based lithium exploration projects. All right, so this seems like pretty simple so far. Um, there's more information on the company, but I'm a visual person. So what I would like to do 
is to move forward now and talk about their landing page. So here we have a urgent Harbinger research targets uh, indicates 193 potential upside for grid batteries. It's actually even higher than that now because the stock is actually giving us a extra discount. It's a little bit lower right now. So if we go forward here, um, there's a presentation now. I would encourage you to click on this. I will leave the link to, the dis, uh, to this page in the description. I would encourage you to click on that if you have a moment. All right, and if we keep going forward here, there's more news. So there's recent news. They provide a financial update. Um, now, now announce uh, those fourth quarter, uh, sorry, fourth phase of their BC project uh, numbers. I encourage you to click on these if you want to go through. I want to keep this video at a high level so we're able to digest this and push forward. Tesla's Nevada plant gears up for groundbreaking battery cell production with $3.6 billion investment. Okay, interesting. Um, Tesla is the world's leading EV maker, if you didn't know that. And U.S. electric vehicle sales are up 66%. Uh, rise to 7% of all U.S. auto sales. That's reported here in April of 2023. And here's the seven reasons why we want to consider uh, grid battery metals on the uh, Canadian Canadian exchange funder under CELL or in the U.S. EVKRF. All right, let's go forward. Number one, excess working capital. I'll zoom in so it's a little bit easier to read here for you too. Excess working capital, as of the... as of the company's financial statement dated uh, June 30th, the company had working capital of $7.2 million, approximately 5 million US. Uh, the company has more recently mentioned in September that it has approximately $5 million Canadian or 3.6 million US in unallocated working capital to carry out their portfolio of lithium and nickel projects. They have a strong company assets, right? Grid battery metals um, received a total of 6 million shares from surge battery metals or NILI, a very popular stock up here in Canada, as part of a trans transaction that involved the sale of some non core nickel assets to Surge and formally closed on June 14th of 2023. The company intends to sell these shares over time to bolster its cash position. And I believe they've recently sold those shares now. I think I read that in this news release here. So uh, I'm not going to go through, but uh, that's what I believe happened. Again, I encourage you to read these articles for yourself to get to make sure you have the full story here. Um, surge shares were valued at roughly 98 cents on the TSXV. Uh, World-class mining-friendly jurisdictions. So they have a diversified portfolio of lithium and nickel pro projects and exploration targets located in mining-friendly jurisdictions. That's what we like. Nevada and BC, Canada. This year, the state of Nevada was determined to be the most attractive jurisdic jurisdiction for mining investments in the world because of its mining-friendly mining -friendly regulations, investment climate, carbon neutral, hydroelectricity grid, and skilled labor force. All right, this is giving us some good reasons here. Strategic land holdings. So they have all, they've also acquired a key lithium exploration property that adjoins the southern border of Nevada North Lithium Project owned by Surge Batteries, a company that, like I mentioned, is very popular right now. The Surge Battery Metals Discovery totals 303 mineral claims and has identified strong mineral mineralization uh, mineralized, sorry, that's a hard word to pronounce, my apologies, uh, lithium bearing clays with an average lithium content of 3254 parts per million. That's quite high. As mentioned earlier, the Grid Battery Metals Management and Exploration Team founded Surge Battery Metals and is responsible for the discovery in Northern Nevada. All right, this is sounding pretty good. Unleashing a wealth of nickel potential on the TSX Venture Exchange. Whoa. Um, the company has recently announced plans to finance enlisted subsidiary, or SPINCO, on the TSX Venture, or TSXV. As part of the arrangement, Grid will transfer ownership of the nickel property in BC in exchange for 9.2 million common shares, which will be distributed as a shared dividend to Grid shareholders, which we just talked about in that other news release earlier. With the intention of seeking TSX listing for SPINCO, subject to uh, approval. And then they also note here that there is rising demand. As we know, EVs are not going anywhere. EV battery metals are looking to be sourced from friendly places. And remember, at the top here, we talked about Tesla, which is what? Investing $3.6 billion for a groundbreaking Nevada plant. They're going to be needing materials. That's why this company is quite interesting. They also have a seasoned management team. And like I mentioned, that comes back to their price target of $0.22 cents because they have a seasoned team at the helm. All right. So they have a lot of really good people on the team. I would encourage you to dive deeper if you want to find out more about them. But like it talks about here, they were the founders of, of uh, the other, other company. So this is looking quite good. So as mentioned earlier, uh, doo -doo -doo, they, uh, they were the, uh, the team founded Surge Battery Metals. 
and they're responsible for that discovery, which means they've had a prior success. We like success. Um, so if you want to find out more about the company, I would encourage you to go to the link in the description, and then you can even fill in your name, your email, and your phone number and get those reports. So that's interesting. As we go further down here, there are some really good tidbits. I'm just going to skim through to make sure that we don't make, leave the video too long, but I would encourage you to go through and read more if you want. So we talked about the seven reasons why, but they also have an unveiling lithium project, right? They're unveiling it. A strategic location. CEO's enthusiasm for the future. That's what we like. We like the future. Significant insight for this, uh, from the soil sample sampling program. Key highlights, again, they go through here. I would encourage you to go and read these if you want. Um, we read them. Uh, we read the high-level notes in the bullet points above. They've also been recently spotlighted in a, B a BNN Bloomberg article. This is really good. Why? Publicity is good. They're talking about uh, a lot of information about the company. And uh, as we go further, um, they've also recently been uh, featured in Resource World magazine. All right. So they're getting quite a bit of attraction lately. So this is looking good. Exclusive interview as well, where they talk about uh, unveiling the nickel and lithium prospects. Interesting. And then as we go forward even more, this is the part that really stuck out to me. It was the price target of 22 cents because right now it's trading just under four, which means there could be tremendous upside from here. All right. And then uh, finally, again, there's more information here about the size of the EV market, $276 billion market. That is big. And it's projected to grow from here, which means that we're going to need even more supply. And uh, at a very high level, that is what we have here for uh, the company. So I'd encourage you to Go to this link if you want to find out more. Otherwise, thank you very much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. For full disclosure details, please make sure to read the, the description as noting that this was a sponsored video.